how to use TikTok app in mobile. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can use TikTok app in mobile. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on TikTok app, you can also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is TikTok, it is a comprehensive task management app designed to help users stay organized and productive in which it offers a range of features including task creation, reminders, prioritization, and collaboration tools. And the app's intuitive interface allows users to view their tasks in various formats such as lists, calendars, and Kanban boards, making it easy to customize their workflow. And the application also includes Pomodoro, Timer for focus work sessions, and Habit Tracker to help users develop and maintain healthy routines. And now from here on this Play Store, just click the Install button and after that, just click open button to proceed opening the application. Then you also need to sign in your account that you will be directed on this page. And as you can see it here, we're currently under the inbox section. But you could also navigate on the left side panel, this today, inbox and welcome section. Under this today, it will show you in here all the tasks that you've been created today. And below here, you could also navigate this calendar option to see some of the tasks that are scheduled or has due date on this calendar. All these settings you could also navigate some other options in here and now to start you'd also click these three lines and by clicking this add button below here we could simply add here a different kind of list filter or even tag which is also important in creating a productivity list on this platform or application and for instance i'm going to click this list to add a new list then you will be directed in here in which all you need to do is to simply add here the name of your list but for instance i'm going to rename this to do then below you could also choose your color and also the layout we have here in this Kanban and also timeline. And after choosing the layout below here, you could also add here the folder if you want to or add a folder to create a new one. And I'm going to name this work. And by clicking these checkboxes, you'll be able to start adding the work folder. And now by clicking this check icon on the top right corner, you will now be able to see here that we have now successfully created our new list, which is this to do. And now to start creating a notes on this list, just click the splice icon right here. And from here, it will ask you, what would you like to do? So you can simply enter here, what are your purpose of creating these notes? Such as, for example, grocery. Then below, under this description, you could also enter here some of your description, such as, for example, to buy a 12 bags and also other description about these notes. And you could also click this calendar icon right here. And it will show you in here the date that you could also set to schedule this note or task and from here all you need to do is to simply select the date and you could also select the time in here depending on your preferences after that you could also remind yourself such as on time or repeated for daily basis weekly monthly or yearly and you could also input the duration that you must have an upgrade account in order to do so now going back on this page right here as you can see below we could also add labels such as high priority medium priority low priority and no priority at all then from here, you could also have a tags. For instance, I'm going to enter here hashtag home. Clicking this icon right here, you could also navigate your inbox, work, and other lists. Now moving on, aside from that, clicking these three dots, we could also attach a photo, a template, and even to full screen our new list. So this is basically what the full screen looks like of this list. Now going back in here, aside from the list on the left side panel, we could also add here a tags by clicking this plus button or add button right here on the left side button and click this tag option. And from here we can simply add here a tag and select a color for it. Now going back in here, we could also start creating a notes or list to any of these sections such as under this today by clicking this plus icon. Just enter here, what would you like to do? However, at this point I'm going to name or title this as company A. And for the description, I'm going to enter some of the description about this company or you could also use this template in which it will show you in here some of the template that you can use let's say i'm going to choose these things to pack by clicking on it we'll now be able to see here the list and from here we can simply change some of the context in here for example at this point i'm going to click or change create a report then below here instead of charger i'm going to replace this context into prepare a meeting so you can simply customize some of this elements or context in here in order to customize the template going back in here by clicking these three dots on the top right corner it will show us some other options 
including to show details, hide the completed, task, view, sort, share, and to even select some of the tasks in here. You could also click this icon right here to plan your day, manage your inbox if needed. Now moving on, if you click this calendar icon, we'll be able to see here all of the two dates and the tasks that we have been created at this point, and for some of the tasks that are scheduled on a specific date. Now moving on on the left side panel, you can also navigate here, this icon below the right corner, in which it will show us all of our lists, the smart list, and even the tasks that we've been created. So this is basically what we could also navigate some of those lists, including the tasks that are assigned to me, that we could also show or hide. Now going back on this page, aside from that, we could also add here an inbox, a different section, and to do that, kindly proceed by clicking these three dots on the top right corner, then click manage section. Then from here, to start creating a new section, just click this add section button and start naming your section. For example, the section in progress, or alternatively, you could also add different kind of sections such as the preparing section and also the done section. So all of this section, we could simply move some of our notes or lists, whether those notes are currently preparing and progress and even done. For example, this note in here, which is company A, if we click on it, it will show us that we can also check this completed or won't work. But if you click on this list and click these three dots on the top right corner, from here, you could also navigate to pin this list, share, add a subtask, and other tools in here. So for instance, I'm going to pin this purse before we drag it to some of this section. And as you can see, we can simply move it to our preparing in progress or done section. So basically from here, you can simply move this list into different kind of section. Or alternatively, you could also go back on this page right here or simply drag this list into different section by simply dragging this one and check or move this into different section, such as preparing in progress or done section, in which using this section, you could also track some of the lists or notes that is currently preparing in progress or done. Now moving on aside from that, we could also navigate the settings option by simply clicking on it. From here, you could also navigate the top bar. By clicking on it, you'll be able to be directed in this page, and you could also enable and disable some of this bar, such as the task calendar settings and many more. While under appearances or appearance, from here you could also choose your team and for instance I'm going to choose this green color and click use and click only for this time or all the time. And after that you will now be able to see here that the team has now been changed into color green. So if we go back on this page, we will now be able to see that it's now been changed of the team which is color green. And aside from that, from here you could also navigate some of the widgets such as this Pomodoro to focus, today habit, task completions focus distribution, and any other widgets. However, some of those need to have an upgrade account in order to use. Moving on from here, you could also import an integration. From here, you could also import or link your calendar, Todoist, Microsoft Todo, Amazon Alexa, and many more to integrate on this application. But overall, that is just basically how you can use TikTok app in mobile. Thank you.